Boom. Intro. Peace. How's everyone doing? Well, I had to work today, so you know how that goes. Anyway, I wanted to make a video real quick. Remember, Rat Black wanted me to make him a car. He sent me all them gassers. Uh, let me see here. Sent me them, a bunch of them Hawley gassers. And uh, like three of these premiums and said uh you know he gave me all those just to make him a custom and he wanted a 55 gas or custom but he didn't act like he wanted the bad man he didn't really say he just said he wanted it red and to do what i wanted so since i like a lot of different things bad man was one of my favorites but so was the rat fink so i made him a rat fink the eight ball gasser see i got an eight ball shifter in there let me see if i put a piece of paper back in if you can see that better there you go try to zoom in put the big old eight ball shifter in there Cool little rat fink. Let me try to. I don't know if this paper is better or not. Might help me to focus better. I guess I should have prepared that. What is back there? Dang it. Come on, man. Guess I should have prepared that a little better before I started, huh, guys? I guess you can tell I'm not a pro. Anyway. Um, hold on, I gotta fix that. I gotta pause you. Alright, let's try that. Anyway, made him a rat fink. And I don't know what it is about this camera, but I'm telling you, that this paint is glass. I don't know why it looks so rough. Same thing was with the cars I sent to everybody, even the wagon I sent to Mustang Hunter, but ask him he'll tell you that thing's glass it don't it don't have all them whatever it is i mean this thing makes it look like it's been shot with a bb gun or something maybe i'm just too picky i don't know but anyway i think rat fink for rat black would be pretty cool painted his axles gold as you see i think it made it look cool like the hub and uh, I gave his wheelie bars a little bit different. Made them straight on the bottom. Uh, and I put the big tall shifter with the eight ball. Because, well, obviously he's got the eight ball shifter in his hand. And Rat Fink's always got that big tall shifter. I was actually debating on putting a hole in the roof and bringing it all the way out here. And putting a big one. Because, you know, that's what Rat Fink's all about. But I didn't know how extreme he wanted his gasser to be. And, uh. I doubled up his wheels on the back. And that gap is normal back there. I saw that gap between the bumper and all. And I was like, what the heck? I got to do something. I got something wrong. No, they're like that. See, here's one I haven't even uh, took apart yet. But as you see, when you clean up the Cassie mark under there, it leaves that gap, which is cool. It don't bother me. But it is closed all the way. And I stuck him two nitrous bottles in there. Oh, cool. You can see them. Ran the lines. So, hopefully this is what he wanted, you know. I mean, done a little bit of work underneath. So, I hope he likes it. And, uh, beware of Chevy. I have, I have so many different rat pink decals, it was hard to decide what to to give him but I went with the eight ball he's I think he's kind of older like I am so he probably will dig it and uh, you know just some minor details on the engine 
nothing major. I wanted to do spark plug wires on a lot of these things, but I don't really have anything that's proper. I guess I could web thread, but you know, you got to get it real good. Anyway, there it is, guys. Hope he likes it. And like I said, I don't know why it looks so rough everywhere. It's, this thing is smooth as glass. So anyway, he gave me several of these premiums and several holy gassers. So I almost did the cherry bomb on that. But instead, I went ahead and made him a cherry bomb. I'm giving him a cherry bomb also. And uh, I took the green windshield out of the the big deal because it don't look right in the big deal and I put the clear one in there and then I put the green one in the cherry bomb. And uh, changed it up a little bit, you know, red tank on the front, put gold bars, but I figure I'd give him an extra car. It's got a shifter in it as well, but it's not a big old tall one. It's just a just a little shifter with a a ball on it, a little black ball on it. And uh of course it's got the bombs on the top. It says cherry bomb on the back. Tried to do up the tail lights real good and uh which i just found another way to do it i'm going to start doing is i use silver around that but i made one i ain't going to show yet it's for me it's uh one i've been working on and i used chrome instead and then came back with the red oh man it looks so good i'm going to start doing that it's just the chrome pen isn't as fine of a tip as that so it's it's kind of hard to get it, so I, you know, I'll dab some out and use a toothpick. Anyway, um, with that toothpick trick, you know, we used to use that back when I was building models. That's another thing, guys. I built models when I was a kid for years. Me and my cousin always tried to get into the model building scene pretty big. And we've done a lot of things to our cars. I even put hydraulics on my model cars before. Use the HO engine, bobby pin, thread, wrap it around it and juice it up. Make it jump. It jumps so hard, we'd just destroy our model. I mean, it would just wham, wham. And then you could suck it down to the ground. Boom. Old model would just sit on the ground, suck the axles right up in there. And then uh, but we'd just get it to hopping and jumping so bad it would just blow apart. Pretty cool. Them were the days, boy. That was back when you get an HO track pretty cheap. Come with HO cars and everything. Now Nowadays, golly, man, one car costs you more than we bought the whole track with two cars for. But anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, guys, what do you think about that cherry bomb? I think he'll like it. And, uh... I haven't made me one of them red rat things yet, but I think I will. But I did make me a cherry bomb. But I gave him the good wheels. I put other wheels on mine. I, uh, you know, these aren't really drag wheels. You'd be burning those off pretty quick. But um, I stuck them on mine because I ordered some, but man, they're coming from Malaysia. Maybe you guys have an idea, but I don't have any idea how long it's going to take to get here. I think they're coming from a guy in a row bar, a rowboat with one arm. I don't know. I should have sent a homing pigeon over there to pick them up. But, uh, anyway, there's, there's mine. I think it's pretty cool. And it's, it's camo green, in case you're wondering. And I wanted to leave it a flat green. Because it looks really cool when it's flat because it's flat camel green but the decals as you see you could see them you could see them well you could see them real good when it was flat and i was gonna you have to seal the decals anyway but i was going to use a matte finish paint to seal it and uh, when i did you could still see the decals real good so 
I went with gloss to help try to clear it up, you know, cover it up a little better. And I don't know. I mean, it may just be the kind of decals I'm using. It looks okay, but like I said, when you use this camera, man, it shows it shows stuff that you just can't even see when you're looking at the car. I mean, this car looks awesome, man. But I look at it through this camera, and I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> anyway, of course, I did the bottom of his the same way I did the bottom of mine. And uh, got them ready. So anyway, guys, just wanted to show you those and see what you thought. I'm going to get get uh, old Rat Blacks ready to go, get them sent off to him. I'm not going to put this video out until... He gets them. I even done the windshield wipers, which was kind of tricky. Well, for me it was. Some of you guys probably have no problem with it. But anyway, I'm going to give him two. He's only expecting one, but I'm going to give him two. I mean, that's pretty generous of the guy to reach out to me like that and, and give me gassers when I had none. I mean, I had one extra gasser that I could make a, something out of, and I did not want to use it. And uh, so that was pretty cool of him to do that. So anyway, guys, uh, there they are. Hope you like them. I'm I'm big time Rat Fink guy. I just love this old stuff. The Cherry Bomb, all of it. I mean, I have so many different old school decals. I'm just, I got so much stuff I got to make now because of that. I just love them old things. Reminds me of the good old days. Anyway, um, I'll get these wrapped up and sent off to them. And, uh, oh yeah, guys, I got my stickers in. Let me show you one. Man, I didn't pay close enough attention. They're not near as big as I wanted them to be. They're only, they're only like three inches. I mean, they're okay, but as you see, they're almost, they're almost actual size of the car. See? Almost to scale, I mean almost. And and I think that's where I messed up as I was talking to them on the phone and they said what size. I said, well, I want it to be, you know, three to four inches, inch and a half to two inches tall, you know, whatever fits the scale to look right. Meaning, however far you stretch it wide, stretch it tall so it looks right. And I think they thought I meant to scale of the car. And, uh, because, I mean, if you look, it is almost identical to the scale of the car. But anyway, that's what they look like, guys. And uh, that's my first one. I'm going to get more different cars. Probably going to get some of those cars, too. And uh, anyway, I'll start giving these out anytime I send something to somebody. I mean, that's what I got them for. Just cool stickers. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take it easy and hope you like the cars. And ooh, let me move that away. And I hope old rat likes his. And like I said, I'm not going to post this video till he gets his cars. Y'all take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Outro. Bye.